Does your hotel really need a blog? Having a blog on your hotel website requires time, planning, and resources. From coming up with good ideas and writing content to sharing it and actually tracking results. In this video, I'm going to take you through a few reasons why having a hotel blog is a good idea and how to know when it's not going to be worth the effort. Quick intro time. My name's Jen Zajac, and I'm a hotel copywriter on a mission to help hoteliers like you recover more business by getting more eyeballs on your website and more direct bookings from your guests. If you want to learn about content and marketing for hotels, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. Okay, let's start with the positive. Here are a few reasons why you should consider having a blog on your hotel website. Reason number one. Blogging keeps your hotel website fresh and relevant. Blogging is hands down one of the best things you can do for SEO. There are many different factors that Google looks at when deciding what pages to rank on page one. Things like quality, relevance, and recency or freshness. You're not going to go around updating your rooms page every month, right? Unless you've just renovated, that content doesn't need to change very often. But Google doesn't really favor stagnant websites that are just sitting there outdated and ignored. Blogging by nature means publishing new content with some level of consistency. And really, you can decide on a schedule that works for you. Whether that's twice a week or once a month, it's still helpful as long as you're being consistent. Blogging is also a great way to create super relevant content. Because again, by nature, blogging tends to be a little more long form than a simple rooms or meeting page. You have a bit more creative freedom to go into more detail about a topic, meaning that page is going to be so much more relevant to what the searcher was actually looking for. Speaking of the searcher, the second reason your hotel should have a blog is that blogging helps you reach the right audience. The best hotel blog content helps potential guests find the answers they need about your destination or property. And spoiler alert, that's all Google wants to do. Help people find the best answer or solution to their question or problem. Think about how you find new products or services, or book a hotel room. Most of us start by searching on Google, first for really broad or general terms like New York Hotel, and then for more increasingly specific keywords like luxury New York Hotel near Times Square. If you've already read my guide to finding the right keywords for your hotel, you're way ahead of the game. If not, I'll link to that blog post in the description below. When you're doing keyword research for your hotel, you're often going to see opportunities that don't quite fit for a regular page on your website. These are content gaps that a new blog post might be able to fill. If you provide your potential guests with all the relevant information they need to make their booking decision, they won't have to turn to the OTAs. Remember that in SEO, you want to be the best answer to the question, and blogging gives you the perfect place on your website to do so. Reason number three, blogging gives your hotel authority. One of the best reasons to have a hotel blog is to showcase your local knowledge. Use your blog to connect readers to exclusive local tips and insights from your team. Your concierge, your restaurant manager, your hotel management, your guest relations coordinator, really anyone willing to contribute. Likewise, you should always tailor your blog to the audience you want to reach. If your hotel relies on corporate business, you could publish content targeting meeting planners. What are their pain points and how can your hotel address them? What are the latest meeting trends? What do your clients need to know about planning a meeting or event right now? Hotel blogging can help position your property's sales or event managers as the industry experts. This is just one way to build trust and authority with potential clients. And when I say blogging gives you authority, I also mean with Google. Hotel blogs help you grow brand awareness, which is especially important for independent hotels and boutique hotels that don't necessarily have a strong chain brand behind them. Now, there are many, many 
different ranking factors, and off-page signals used by search engines to decide who gets to be on page one. When you create useful, helpful content, you're more likely to get shared and linked to by other websites, and that signals to Google that you're a trustworthy, credible source. You know what the heck you're talking about. By the way, if you're brand new to the world of search engine optimization, a good place to get started is this video with eight simple SEO tips for hotels. I've also written a ton of useful articles on hotel SEO for my own blog, which I've linked for you in the description below. The last reason I think your hotel should have a blog, number four, is that blogging powers every other marketing channel. The content you create for your blog can be used on social media, in your emails, in advertising, in PR outreach, reprinted in sales brochures, the list goes on. Blogging is just one part of a well-rounded hotel marketing plan. But try to think of it as a means of connecting all those other channels back to your website. Because at the end of the day, brand awareness is great and all, but you need to get people on your website if they're going to book direct. And blogging is one of the best ways to do it. Okay, so we've covered what I think are four great reasons your hotel should have a blog, but let's be real, you've got a lot on your plate already and there are some good reasons not to add blogging to your to-do list. The first reason not to have a hotel blog is this. You don't have any other active marketing channels. There is no point in writing a blog if you're not gonna show it to anybody. Blogging alone is not an effective strategy. You have to have a plan for distribution, which means you have to be active on other marketing channels too. Two of the biggest ones for hotels would be social media and email. When it comes to social media, you don't necessarily need to be posting on every single platform or jumping on the latest trendy bandwagon. Being active and consistent on just one or two social platforms can actually be more effective. For most hotels right now, that's probably going to be Facebook and Instagram, but some hotels might want to focus more on LinkedIn. Just make sure you know where your target audience likes to hang out on social and be present there. Email marketing is another important channel that lots of hotels tend to overlook. Nurturing and growing a profitable email list requires providing valuable content, doing it consistently, and serving more than selling, which means the content you create for your hotel blog is a great way to keep your email subscribers engaged too. I have another video all about how to grow your hotel's email list, including what the heck to say and send to your subscribers. So I'll also link that above and in the description box below. The other big reason not every hotel should have a blog is that you don't have the resources. This one is probably the main reason many hotels don't have a blog. Now more than ever, hotel marketing departments are stretched very thin. The marketing role inside a hotel is often a team of one, and sometimes a single marketer is responsible for multiple properties. And just because you're a marketer doesn't mean that you enjoy writing. Maybe you're more interested in photography and visual stuff, or maybe you're a total data and analytics nerd. As a hotel marketer, finding time to brainstorm blog ideas and write compelling, consistent content on top of many other tasks can sometimes feel impossible. If you're not able to personally plan, write, edit, publish, and promote hotel blog posts yourself, keep in mind that there are other options. Consider whether you could train a few people from other departments to pitch in. You could also look outside the hotel too. Consider hiring a copywriter to help you or try sourcing articles from local bloggers in your destination. You could also make guest blogging part of your influencer marketing strategy. If you do want to DIY, here are a few helpful resources to get you started. In the description below, I'm linking to another article with 101 blog post ideas specifically for hotels. So make sure to check that out if you're looking for some ideas. One of my favorite free tools is Answer the Public. You can type in your city name or destination, 
hit enter, and get a ton of relevant questions that people are searching for. You can also go straight to the source. Go to Google and again, start typing your city name or destination and see what popular searches start coming up in the autofill. Free tools can help you find ideas, but I strongly recommend investing in a proper keyword research tool to be more strategic. You want to make sure that you're creating content that a good amount of people are actually searching for to make all of this effort worth your while. Remember, you don't own your social media followers, so what happens if those platforms suddenly went away? What happens on your own hotel website is way more important. So if you've been thinking about adding a blog to your hotel website, I hope this video helped you weigh the pros and cons. Let me know in the comments below if I convinced you either way. Don't forget to grab a free copy of my hotel SEO checklist from the description box. And if you liked this video, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more hotel marketing tips.